Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I am still killing some time here, uh, waiting for stuff to open. I'm actually waiting for... The Hello, who was that? Oh, hey, George. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I need to go talk to George, actually. There's a, a, a side quest, I believe, with an achievement attached to it. Oh, Emily's here. Hi, Emily. I guess that's Thomas over there. Hi, hi. Okay. So I'll get my, um my pocket change for peeking in windows like a crazy person. Yeah, we did a little fishing last episode. It was fun. I did not catch a single actual fish. Oh, cl <laughs> shit. Yeah. Did not catch a single actual fish, but hey, it was fun. We caught some, some useful stuff. It's still... It's still closed. There are people in there. Oh, yo, George. 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 Hi. George. George. Let me in. No. No. George, let me in. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was just cold, man. You know that? Okay, fine. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand out here. Oops, let me get my items. My other items. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Okay. So that killed... Okay, almost an hour. Great. It took an hour to smoke that cigarette. Hey, we're open. Oh, there's food here too. Hot damn. Good morning, Greenville Sheriff's Department. Hi, Thomas. How you doing? Can I, can I not, not talk to you? Okay. Can I go in here? No. Okay, I need to find George. Kitchen room. Now, um, $64,000 question. Does that braille actually say the same thing that's on the sign? There's T, there's... Okay, here we go. Now I can get a better look at it. Oh. Oh, oh, they're having lunch. They're having lunch. Yeah, that's, um... Okay, yeah, let's, um, let's do the thing. Hi, guys! Hey, how y'all doing? Hi, Thomas. Thomas, can I, can I have lunch, please? Uh, hey! Uh, um? George, do you work out every day? Of course, Sergeant Morgan. <laughs> Is he Exercise seriously, really? Healthy. At the I table. Missed a day since I At the table. Started in high school. Really, George? Oh, that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. Okay, get more exercise, York. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. Okay, if you haven't seen look Arnold at it from, since from this yesterday. angle, Arnold. this looks really bad. Okay. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester, Sylvester. misses him too. He's named his around, dumbbells Arnold know, and ya? Sylvester. Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. Oh I'll keep my god. George. Okay. I have I have Arnold. Okay. George has lost his beloved Arnold somewhere in the sheriff's office. He can't train with him. I was looking for him to get it back to him, help him get his groove back. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I have Arnold. Yes, there's Arnold. Hi. Hi Arnold. George, I found Arnold. <laughs> really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come <laughs> oh back. Oh my god. Kachunk. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using oh my normal god. workout menu. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. What is it? Wow. Thanks, George. Thank you. So that makes us even. Yeah, totally. I don't totally. owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. Uh, no changes. I've been carrying this dumbbell together. around in Just my back pocket in for like the last six episodes. Zach? And you give me a... He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, York. Yeah. Lost Arnold. Hey. Okay. Okay, can I uh, well, get hello? some... 
Hell yes, I want lunch. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. So, what exactly do you want to talk to everyone about? This case goes deeper than you think. The town folk may have heard about the murder, but they don't understand it. Uh-huh. It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn them properly. I hope most of them are decent enough to come. No problem there. Emily has made all the arrangements. Good for I've her. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. Now they're eating breakfast. I think. Reminds me of a film I saw. Oh recently. God, here we go again. The town is under attack by aliens, and so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn them. Uh huh. Now, overseeing this, the aliens attack <laughs> the hall and wipe them all out together. Is it that? Relevant? No. Agent York? No, it's not. The kill is fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays and heads. Oh stop. my god, York, can you not? Can you please you not? Agent York. Thank you. Some of us are trying Thank to you, Emily. Here. I know, Emily. Emily's I'm one saying of them. what well, we're all thinking. Cooking is the best, Thomas. Thank you. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look at George is like, whatever, fuck this, I'm done. Okay, good, I'm full. I am full and I am happy. Oops. Don't need to see that right now. Okay, here we go. I think I've already looked at this one. There's Anna. Anna, Anna. This beautiful 18-year-old blonde was curious about the real world, which led her to joining a dangerous and secret club, as one does. Isaac is an angel. He sits in a red room. A very strange set of twins. Emily Ingram, Keith's wife. I don't know Keith. Roughly 10 years older than Keith. She is the more responsible one in the house. Toiky sandwich. What makes this sandwich so amazing is the fact that the turkey is tasty and juicy without making the bread soggy. That is pretty amazing. It does not explain the color, though. Arnold and Sylvester. George's weights for pumping iron. He named them Arnold and Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Record player. An antique record player. Thomas and Carol have used it since they were kids. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Wait, what? Vid games. <laughs> Great, now I'm going to have to look at every single license plate I see in case it says something funny. Okay, this is a fresh one. So, where shall we go next? How about right here? Closed? Are you serious? Are you serious? It's it's lunchtime. You're closed during breakfast. You're closed during lunch. Exactly. This place is, is never open. Check out? What in the hell? We need to be at the community hell? center by 1500 today. Just think of talking uh, in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. It's never open. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's closed for now because um, the waitress, their their star waitress, has uh, keeled over and died with all of her organs taken out and attached to the tree. That's not exactly keeling over and dying, is it? Okay, well, um, crap. Does that say Dwarf Avenue? So got some of the goofiest street names I have ever seen. Let's see, let's check the map real quick. Let's sit here in the middle of the road, looking at the map. Let's see, there appears to be some kind of a campground there. Oh, there's a card up here. Asimov Street. Gast Street. Okay. Bo Peep Street. Tepes Street. That's subtle. Simple Simon. Wolf Street, Dwarf Street. Now, isn't there a Dwarf, there, uh, Dwarf Avenue and Dwarf Street? Oh boy, I bet the mailman has fun here. I hope those are in different zip codes. Okay, so yeah, there's a there's a card. So let's uh, let's go grab it. I was gonna say, don't even tell me he can't walk over that. I see it. I see it. No, that's money. I'll take that anyway. I will most definitely take money. And the card is over here somewhere. There you are. Hello, darling. 
No, it's it's on the other side of these. Okay. Hey, gotcha. Rosy lips, Gina. Okay. Someone else we haven't met. Oh, okay. That was a uh, that was fairly awful. The game crashed. Um, I had to go back and do what I had done before, and even worse, um, after I ate lunch at the sheriff's office, George just uh, up and disappeared. He's not at the sheriff's office. I don't know where the hell he went, so I will have to uh, give him Arnold again later. So let's see. Uh, same crap that we always find in the vending machines. Coffee. Yeah, and I'm not hungry, so I don't need any of that. But anyway, we have come to the community center. There is still some time to kill. We cannot do anything just yet. I don't think I can go in here. Nope. Okay. There's, um... Uh... Ha, <laughs> that was fun. Let's uh, look at some license plates here. <laughs> Deadly Erm. Cute. So there's about an hour and some change here. Am I out of cigarettes? I mean, I could get back in the car and drive around some more, but... Man... I think I've had about enough of that for today. I think you've had about enough of that for right now. Any anything good over here? No, just uh, squad cars and other assorted crap. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do I have any cigarettes left? <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. Smoking is bad for you. I do. Alright. Use. And the deer head on the wall just kind of moving around. Like, you know, no big deal. Okay. Time is now. Oh, 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 it's time. It's time. Alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's go embarrass ourselves here. Yay. Greenvale Community Center, Mercury Theater. Greenvale Community Center. Uh huh. Now that's, that's what I just said. Building. Clock tower is impressive too. Uh, I've seen better. Mmm, chocolate. Oh boy, a can of tomato sauce. Oh god, oh god, it's the whistling song. We know what this means. We. Oh god, here we go. York's gonna Zach, embarrass himself and like everything. Oh school. my god. I'm not some tree in the wind this time either. He was probably even literally was a, a tree. I was a piece of scenery. A bright, a bright red, red tree. tree. Emily's fixing her hair. Thank you. Oh god. All for coming today. Uh, George, hang around after Getting this because I got something to give you. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Hi. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Just call me York. Everyone does. No, he, he didn't do it. Okay. Murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. Okay, he's doing okay so far. I mean, other than waving his badge I've around. i to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. Okay. And to bring the one responsible to justice. Okay. He, he's doing okay. Emily's not stink-eyeing him too much. Thomas is taking notes. George is George. Unfortunately, incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. Uh-huh. I ask to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize oh boy, the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please... Stay away from any dark, dangerous, <laughs> isolated places. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Those of you with children, especially of Anna's age, please guide your children away from such places at all costs. Uh, um, she was a grown-ass woman. Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Yeah, I think everybody in town already now knows I that. heard the folklore story of the raincoat killer. 
Ah, snap. There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Okay. Women should also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, there's Miss Stiletto Heels. I bet. What is going on here? Carol McLean, bar owner and singer. Okay. Uh, excuse you. Okay. Who's the fashionably late one? That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. Oh, okay. Thomas's sister. Really? Those two are related? Yeah. Okay. Um, excuse me. So, as I have said... Okay, we've, we've been over this, going York. outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught. I can't believe this. Justice. York has Let's actually been socially so. uh, you know, fluent here. He's not Thank embarrassed you. himself. He's not said anything completely stupid. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. Good job, York. Oh, and there's this guy again. Oh, here he comes. When paying for our sins, we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. Excuse you? Um. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell. Okay, what the hell? So says Mr. Stewart. Excuse you, Mr. Stewart. That was just completely uncalled for. What a dick! Sure knows how to steal thunder. <laughs> well then, Zach. Let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Oh boy. Okay, is there a phone in here is what I want to know here. Uh, now, I, I will walk down like a civilized human being. Oh, here we go. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. <laughs> but I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I'm tired of your sass. Lift me out of this chair and kiss my ass. So Mr. says Mr. Francis Stewart. York Morgan. <laughs> the purple fog uh, appears with yeah. rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Okay. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boils. Uh, okay. Then and only then your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, the proper must do, do the proper move. at the proper time. Okay. It is not yet mine. That is. Mr. Stewart's time. Not yeah, I, I kind of gathered you, that, Michael. Mr. Thank York, you. Find the right timing to chat with me. That is, with Mr. Stewart. May that be. Yeah, yeah. Informative and fruitful, you will see. So says Mr. Stewart. So, Harry, you know something. Oh, oh, God. But there's some reason Faux why pas. you can't tell Faux me. pas. Is that what you're trying to say? Cut the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk. No, you know. chill, George. Please chill. Just chill. Oh, he looks angry. That that's that's angry morphing there. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Pay close attention <laughs> to the side. <laughs> Just uh, like George the isn't even there. I love the it. Premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds. And helpful to your investigations. So says uh -huh. Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zach, we know what we're doing. Uh huh. Yep, me and my ima just me and my imaginary friend. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is there, is there a phone here? No. Ah, oh, sure. I'll take the coffee. Why not? I can slurp that down later on. 
Okay, here's a bunch of extras here, I guess, and all the suspects would be out here. Now, who's this guy? Suspect. Hi. Yeah, wave your badge at him. Okay. Good evening, Agent. Brian? Ew. Gravekeeper. What a surprise. Good evening, Mr. Brian. The Gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. <laughs> Mr. Brian. Like look. Auditioning for York, no, can you not? On the Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. <clears throat> too, too soon to go to the grave. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did. He doesn't look suspicious at all. Were you I'm... close to her? Mm -hmm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna. Blonde hair. So bright. He is weird. There's a graveyard somewhere. Even in the town, by this town's standards, I'm not he's weird. About the idea, but maybe we should at least yeah. check it out. That is where dead people tend to hang out. Okay. And then there's this guy. Hi, how you doing? Oh, that's... Th that's, um... No. I'm FBI Special Agent. Yes, York thank Ward. you. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? Quint Dunn, Darts Bar employee. I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you, but it means the death of a friend to me. Okay. I don't want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. All right, bro. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good well... Point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself. Yeah, buddy. Quint. How do yeah. you know my name? You just told me, bro. I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. The game just said. I also know about you and your significant... Uh? Name. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. <laughs> you know and see everything. Uh-huh. Um, sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? Okay. Okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. Uh. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. Uh. I can read him like a book, Zach. You sly dog, York. All right, let's talk to this other dude here. Hi. How you doing? Oh, yeah. He New York, looks right? charming. I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the darts bar. Swear, Swear 65. 65. Ha! Huh. How'd you like okay. the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from no, the yeah, just uh, here, yeah. no big deal. Murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you. <laughs> Clearly, it does. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all, just like her mother, Sally. Uh -huh. What do you know about Sally? Well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Ah, oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. Yeah. She's at home right now, trying to make peace with it all. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? Oh, snap. <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full, too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you yeah. and me. You're right, Richard. You're right. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. Right. York is actually behaving himself quite well. I am very proud of you, York. You have managed to learn some social skills. Oh, hey, Asha. How you doing? Actually, uh, let's see. Is there a phone in here? If there is, I think there... Yeah. Nope, that's a toolbox. I need a phone. Let me just... um. Yep. Use the right keys here. Ah, there's a phone over there. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. 
this has already run a bit long. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, this lady is staring at some money. Oh, it's Polly. Hi, Polly. Hi, sorry, sorry, don't mean to just brush you off, but let me just uh, save. And I will be back to interrogate the rest of these people next time, folks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.